methods, part two, examples. So here we're going to do a simple example where we have a method that adds two numbers together. I'm going to grab the pin and walk you through how it works. So up at the top, we create a variable a and b. So I want to keep track of that. So I'm going to write down a equals 6, and I want to write down b equals 8. Then I say int answer equals add a, b. And what's happening right here is a method call. I'm invoking the add method, and I'm sending the data a, comma b. But what's actually happening is these are passed by value, because they're primitives. I am passing 6, and 6 gets passed and stored into a brand new variable, x. Comma, that doesn't look too much like a comma, it's a little bit better. 6, comma, 8, and the 8 gets stored into the second parameter, y. So down here I'm going to say x equals 6, y equals 8. And then sum is equal to 6 plus 8, which would be 14. So sum equals 14. And here I return sum. But I'm not actually returning sum. Sum only exists in this method. It will not exist in main. I'm returning the value of sum, which is 14. So 14 is being sent all the way back to this location where the method call is. The method call gets replaced with the value 14, and we have int answer equals 14, system.out.println answer, and that would be 14. So the output for this program is 14. Parameter order. So this one's going to be our first example for parameter order. So running with the same program, but we're doing a subtraction instead of an app. So a equals 6, b equals 8. Here I'm making a call to the sub method, and I'm passing a comma b. I'm not really passing a comma b, I'm passing the value 6 comma 8. Now 6 will be sent down and stored into a brand new variable a. 8 is passed down and stored into a brand new variable b. These are not the variables from main. They happen to have the same name, because remember, a variable only exists in the method it was created. So a equals 6 exists, that a exists in main. It does not exist in the sub-method. So when I say int a, that's making a brand new variable a that is local to the sub-method, and it's going to take on the value 6. b is going to take on the value 8. The difference is going to be 6 minus 8, a minus b, a is 6, b is 8, so diff is going to be minus 2. So here we're returning diff, but what we're actually sending back is the value of diff, which is minus 2. So sub a comma b gets replaced with minus 2. Answer stores minus 2, and then we print minus 2 giving us an output of minus 2. Parameter order. We're going to do the same example again with a slight difference. So first of all, first off, I'm going to write a equals 6. I'm going to write b equals 8. And then I'm going to call sub a comma b. So when I call a comma b, I'm trying to send a, b, but what I'm really sending is 6, comma, 8, like we always do. And I send 6, and it gets stored into the first parameter. But notice the value of a is being sent, which is 6, and it's going to be stored in a variable called b. So b is 6, and a is 8. So when we do a minus b, our difference is going to be 2, not a negative 2 like in our last example. And the reason I'm really doing this example is to show you, see, I called it A, I called it B. Down here it's called BA. These are definitely different variables. So I'm going to send this back. This will hold the value 2, and the output will be 2. Parameter order. We're going to go through parameter order, order again, but at least now we have a different example. x 
equals 9.9. .9. Y equals 11. So X is a double, Y is an int. We call add X comma Y. What it's really sending is X, which is 9.9, .9, comma, 11. 9.9 .9 gets sent to the first variable. So, int A cannot take on the value of 9.9. .9. What would happen here, if we try to do this, we'd get possible loss of precision. So the first value is getting put in the first uh, parameter. So, when you actually try to compile it, it's going to tell you symbol not found, add, double, comma, int. There is no add method that takes double, comma, int. If we had sent it y, comma, x, it would work because there is a method that receives int, comma, double. But we sent them in the wrong order, so there's no method that works for double, comma, int. It does not reorder parameters for you. So if a method wanted a string, then an int, and you send it, an int then a string, you're sending it what it wants but in the wrong order so it cannot find that method. So this one results in error. The code does not compile. Public static void main string bracket bracket args print man. Notice I'm not storing the result of print man because the method is void. It is sending nothing back. So we go, we leave, Here's the method call. We leave main. We go do print man. We run the first line of code, the prints underscore o underscore. Then we print a vertical bar and another line. And then on the last line, we print some feet with a caret and uh, two minus signs. Once this method completes, we go back to main right here. There is no code after print man, and the program finishes out. All right. By value, A equals 6, B equals 8. We call the method add A comma B. We're sending the value of 6 comma the value 8 6 goes to A 8 goes to B just like in main but these are different variables A is equal to 6 B is equal to 8 then we change A to 44 a now holds the value 44. 44 plus 8 is 52. Sum is equal to 52. We send back sum, which is the value 52. Down here, when we print off A, we're printing the value of A that main has, which is still 6. The A that was changed was the A that was changed to 44 was the A that was owned by add. Main's 6 value is still A. Then we print answer, which is 52.